Hello all, welcome back to my channel. It's Bashar Zori, and this is another speed paint. And I think this is my most exciting speed paint yet. Wait till you see why. First of all, when it comes to Photoshop, I don't use the paintbrush tool. I use the smudge tool. Essentially, people would like to think that they can just put strokes on the page, and stroke after stroke, it'll become a drawing because there were outlines which they could then dodge and burn, which for the beginners means to highlight or shadow, and then people would be able to, well at least with me. So the way I make depth with the smudge tool is because I use a three-dimensional quality of motion on my tablet. It's not because I'm actually thinking to myself that there's going to be a rounded area here that's darker, like a rounded edge or a rounded circular shade. Um, on the ground because of a shadow cast light um, that is reflected on a sphere and then um, you know negatively causing space that is darker on the floor I don't think of it like that because I wouldn't even bother making those shades in this in this sort of um, planners edition of his smudge tools guide in the first place I would more likely just go in and put a few colors on there and not exactly like oil painting but oil painting cheating i'm able to like play around with things because at the end of the day remember this is a digital program so what i can do is i can also cut things so because i can put things one layer on top of each other and below each other if i cut things and copy and paste things on top of each other and such and even move them around transform their shape uh, proportions and things like that uh, individual objects you know such as only an arm of a figure or only the head of a figure what I end up being able to do is I can even get very sort of creative with that mainly just by being able to grab onto things in the toolkit and really sort of stylize the way I want to that's one thing but stylizing it the way you were self-taught is quite another um, everyone was self-taught at some point as an artist you know um, goes without saying you know how you were self-taught um, could have been through a computer could have been on sketchbook could have been through media like gouache or oil painting or watercolor something where you had to kind of like stand maybe charcoal drawings and things like that drawing from reference i've certainly done that at school and it was a great reward because um when i go about drawing a figure per se i'm more rewarded with the fact that there is something to be said about the maintenance of a figure um not only as a model or a drawing but also as a knowledge tool such as um, the way that I use my own head to access my own knowledge base on programs such as Harmony which is a cartoon animation program which I learned in school um, also Maya which is a 3d rendering program which I learned at school so there were lots of programs that I learned at school that really assisted me in being able to be a good artist and being able to have like a lifestyle where um, I would be able to draw and um, make these things happen where technology was really my best friend. Um, and, and by now, you know, all my viewers know that because it's something iterative that happens in my work. So in the end, whatever drawing I produce, I'm producing it because I have a feeling in mind, not more of an imagination. Um, you know, it's all coming from different places. You know, my brain is like a sponge and I'm pretty much just absorbing what I see and pretty much just spitting it out from my eyes at the same time, if you want to think about it that way. So that's the conclusion of this um, art digression. I guess that's what I'm going to call these shows, the art digressions. So <laughs> there's, there we go, guys. There's the speed paint. This is new Pokemon. That's what the speed paint is. And I will turn this city into a Pokemon state. 